fire extinguishers are, there's three on board, one there, one on the far side, and one just in front of the head. And uh, I I guess, uh, Mike, I'll take you, we usually appoint one guy to be in charge of some to me. We? Yeah, okay. And, uh, you know, sometimes an emergency come up there. So from your experience, how long will it take us to get there? An hour and 40 minutes, right? Okay. Okay. An hour and 45, maybe. It's in that neighborhood. Okay? Sounds Very good. good. All right. Everybody. I will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of hard to social distance, but we're trying as best we can. And we're in, uh, Desafio says we're going duck hunting. Uh, all I've heard though, where we're going, there are snakes. Snake hunting. We're, we're going to where we're some snakes. We're gonna we're gonna be cutting the snakes to get at the caches. That's what I think. All right. We've got a milestone to hit. What number? 8,000. 8,000. Right so there's a cache on the island that hasn't been found in five years. So he wants to make that his milestone, which is the furthest point of the island from where we dock up. So that makes sense. Walk so there while we're fresh. Dock up, have that half an hour walk. Milestone 8,000. <laughs> Main Duck Island is a Canadian island in the eastern part of Lake Ontario, situated next to the smaller Yorkshire Island, which itself is only about one kilometer from the Canada-US border. The island is 20 kilometers from the closest mainland and is 230 hectares or 570 acres in size. European settlers began to settle Main Duck Island in the early 19th century, establishing a fishing station. During Prohibition, the island was used to smuggle alcohol using local fishermen. At one point, John Foster Dulles, Secretary of State for Dwight D. Eisenhower, was part owner of much of the island. In 1977, the island was purchased by the Canadian government, and in 1998, it was included in the Thousand Islands National Park of Canada. Captain Dave brought our boat into a landing at the dock, then we set off, marching to one side of the island, then off to the other, then across the great savanna of the interior, then to the other side, and over down to the lighthouse. Nice to have a little bit of shade from out in that hot sun. What we're doing is we're going to the furthest cache away first. Yep, we're doing that because that's my milestone cache. Yep. But also more importantly, it hasn't been found for five years now. So it's five years unfound and hopefully we can get it. Yep. So no, we're gonna do so that cool. one first. And I'm gonna duck here. Yep. <laughs> Everybody duck. Hey, Main Dyke Island. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> We're going to do that one first and then get the other ones on the way, way back to the boat. Ah, relics from a day long ago. And there's a cache right here. We're going to come back and get it. As we said, we got to go to the furthest one away first. See if we can get that one. Got it. There we go. Hey. No longer lonely. Find number 8,000. 8,000. Oh, so you guys are first. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah, Scum the Addict. <laughs> yep, September 1st, 15 is the last one. Right on. Oh, yeah. great. Wow. For us. Almost five years. Almost yeah. five September years. <laughs> Almost five, five years, years unfound. There we go. It's What's the, what's the material? All right, we came out for this one for my milestone cache, number 8,000, because it hasn't been found for five years. Well, it's been found now. 
It's and not, I got eight not lonely anymore. Not lonely anymore. Woo An exhaustive search was done and uh, couldn't turn up the cache. And it's funny because the cache we were looking for was never published. Uh, we had the coordinates to the uh, cache that was placed here, just never got published, but couldn't find it, so it's not really a DNF. <laughs> So now we're backtracking and we're going to go and find the caches that we passed along the way. And we are so lucky because they just mowed and cut the path from the boat dock to the lighthouse. So we didn't have to go through long grass and bushwhack. Um, the person that was here before us on July 13th uh, had in the log a boat walking through all the high grass and bushwhacking through the bush and uh, we didn't have to deal with that which is so nice they must have known we were coming <laughs> Oh yes, dun dun dun. Ooh. Here's uh, Mr. L and A himself, Coleman One Two Three. Too bad about the, the mega this year. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, we wanted to think of everybody's safety with COVID nineteen happening. Uh, we thought it best to uh, postpone. Uh, mm -hmm. DLA 2020 to DLA 2021. Our 10-year awesome. anniversary uh, will be on our 11th year. <laughs> so look forward to seeing everybody August uh, 2021. Excellent. Stay safe, everybody. And uh, what did you think of the island? This is pretty cool. Right? The island was awesome. Uh, I made it partway out here uh, in 2009. Water got a little rough. I sold my boat, and this has been on my bucket list for a long time. So uh, awesome. glad uh, to finally get this off. One DNF, but hey. Yeah. Three, three fines, that's the main thing. And, and uh, a good oh, trip with good friends. Yeah, awesome. It was good to see you again. Yeah, you too. And the man who put it all together, Stagold678. That's me. Thanks very much for putting this together. Absolutely. Glad you guys came along. And this has been in the works for like... We've been we've been looking to do it for, for years now. Years. But, uh, you know, initial research doesn't show there's many charters going out here, so. Yeah. Oh, and you've got a great captain and Captain Dave. Absolutely, awesome. yeah. Couldn't ask for a better day either. Yeah, so. and uh, we're really glad that uh, Comedy Addict, that you talked to him and he talked to us, brought us out here together. Absolutely. Thanks for uh, putting this on your bucket list. Yeah, thanks for glad to join it. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. So we did have the DNF one, but you know, it's not so bad because what's going on now? Well, we're trying to look for a boat that's underwater and we can't find a boat. So, so it's not so bad if we can't find yeah. one cache. Yeah. If you can't find a boat under the water, we're good. And with a hint of <laughs> by the shore underwater. Yeah. Like, how how are, how can the boat be? It find? should be right here. It should be. <laughs> That's what they said about that one and a half, one and a half. Well, yep. London Westie always says that. Yes, yeah, right there. <laughs> should yep, be right here. here. Yep. <laughs> Keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching, geocaching take, take you? Yes.